Hello everyone, in this video I show you some examples how you can use Pipeline Editor and what can you do with that tool. Pipeline Editor has been introduced in 13.8 version. Normally, when you edit your GitLab CI YAML file, you will find that something is wrong with the code only after you push your changes. It would be great to know that there is a typo or something extremely wrong with this config in advance, right? And for this you can use Pipeline Editor. There are three things you can do with that tool. Validate Pipeline Configuration, Visualize the Configuration, and Lint the Configuration. Validation is done automatically when you're editing the file. Okay, so how to start? Go to CI/CD section and click the Editor link. After that, you should see the pipeline editor. Let's break something. Hmm, what's wrong with this code? I've received a message that my CI configuration is invalid because chosen stage does not exist. This makes sense. I have a build job and I inherit from hidden job default and I have not set a stage in any of these jobs. But I should. Thank you pipeline editor. Let's fix CI configuration and add build stage to a build job. CI configuration is valid now. I can go to the lint section and check if syntax is correct. Everything looks fine here. Syntax is correct and I can even see the preview of my jobs. Nice. Linter checks for syntax and logical errors and it's more powerful than the validation in editor. I see that the build job will run on branches and tags and because it's the first job in a pipeline with when set to on success, it will be always spawned. Let's add another job, but this time for deploy. Now, when I navigate to the lint section, I will see two jobs. Great! In this way, you can lint your changes before committing them. Linter is updated in real time, and you can see also some additional info like deploy job is manual. Ok, and now the next section, visualize. If you go there, now you will see these two jobs. You don't need this feature if you have two or three jobs, but what if you have more jobs? It would be useful to visualize them. Let's see another example. It's not a complicated one, but even in this example, a visualization will be very useful. And here is the visualization. Much better than plain YAML, right? Instantly, you know what's going on here. You have four stages. The first job is linked. Then an image is built. And now, because I used needs keyword, I see relationships between jobs. Let's hover a cursor on deploy dev job. Deploy dev job needs only build job. 
and you can easily see the relationship between these two jobs. Deploy dev job runs as soon as build job finishes without waiting for jobs in test stage to finish. So I want to deploy my changes on dev environment as soon as possible. Now let's hover a cursor on deploy prod job. Here the situation is different. I don't want to deploy something on production without any tests. So deploy prod job needs these three guys from test stage. Deploy prod job runs as soon as these three test jobs finish. Do you agree that such visualization is useful? What if you have a more complicated pipeline? Pipeline editor supports include keyword, so you can use it. Let's say that you split the stages and put each stage into another YAML file. Then you can just include all these files. And your pipeline editor still is able to function normally because as I said earlier, it supports this keyword. Of course, in this way, you cannot test everything. For example, you cannot test if your ifs in rules keyword are correct, etc. But it's still useful. If you just need to add small fix, it might be a good alternative to merge request. And that's it. Let me know if it was useful. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and see you soon.